Okay, so in this video we're going to start talking about improper fractions and mixed numbers. And what we mean by that is, let's say we have two and a half pizzas. Well, the question is, how many halves of pizza have we got? Well, the easiest way to do that is to look at these two whole ones and divide them into halves and then count them. So we have one, two, three, four, five halves of pizza. And the way that we write that would be five over two. And what we're saying is, is that that is the equivalent of two and a half. What we normally say is that this is what they call an improper fraction. So it's an improper fraction. Where what we mean is, is that the top number, which is called the numerator, is top heavy and the bottom number is smaller. This is what we call a mixed number. which is just basically a mix of whole numbers and fractions. OK, so why would we want to do this? Well, it's used generally for multiplication and division of fractions. So just to give you a couple of examples, let's say we had four and a quarter, and we want to be able to convert that to an improper fraction. OK, well, what we could do is look at each of these four pizzas, and we could draw them out. So there's one, two, three, four pizzas, and I'm going to split all of those four pizzas into quarters, and I've got four, eight, twelve, sixteen quarters, plus the one quarter here, so that would be an equivalent of seventeen quarters, an equivalent improper fraction. And practically speaking, you wouldn't necessarily want to draw the pizzas out each time. So let's say we have an example which is something like um, 5 and 2 fifths, and we want to calculate that as an improper fraction. OK, well, the easiest way to do it is to multiply the whole number by the denominator. So 5 times 5 is 25, and then add it to the two remaining bits of pizza, which would be then 27 over 5. And what we've done there is converted a mixed number to an improper fraction. And if you look at the next video, we'll be converting improper fractions back to mixed numbers. And if you have a look on the website, there are some learning sheets. You'll be able to download, have a look at them and try this one for yourself.